Hey there YouTube, this is Warren Marshall and uh, it's time for another Sunday fun day even though it's not really Sunday but that's okay, we'll make it work. So let's talk about time management for a little bit. Basically, whenever you do something, you're anything, you're making a choice on how to spend your time. If you run entirely on impulse, it'll be you know, almost impossible to get ahead. So what I'm advocating is having a plan, you know, no matter how thin it is, that will always be better than just stumbling ahead. More people than you think are in their current jobs and relationships because they simply wound up there. Like, think about it, right? Like, how many people do you know who went to school for X but are now doing Y for a living? And I'm as guilty as anyone. Now, I didn't plan on being a game developer, but that's just how my life panned out. I wanted to be a computer programmer. I, you know, I knew that much, but I didn't care too much about what it was that I was working on. And that's sort of the, the very definition of drifting. So this video is meant to inspire you to start doing things with intention. You don't always just do what feels good in the moment, but to instead choose to do what is good for you in the long term. Now does that, now does that mean having a rigid schedule and never having any fun? No, of course not. That would be you know, ridiculous. I love to play games. You know, I love to travel. But you know, I know that to allow those fun things to happen and for those things to be the most rewarding that they can be, I need to feel like I've earned it. So my work day is fairly scheduled. For example, you know, I have a daily calendar where I sit down each night or the morning of and try to set out, and try to set out a plan for the day. You know, writing this script, for example, was on that schedule. So I had my morning coffee this morning, sat in my living room quietly with my laptop, and I banged out you know, most of this uh, most of this script. So as each hour ticks by on the calendar, you know, I know exactly what I should be working on. And I feel good about each item on the list because I know that I chose to do that thing on purpose. You know, there was a reason behind it. It wasn't just whatever happened to wander into my, my sphere of attention or whatever you know, uh, popped up on my desktop and got my attention. It, it's something that I chose, in, chose intentionally. Now this has many benefits, you know, not the least of which is giving you the peace of mind to focus on the current task and make it easier to get into the flow state, which we've talked about in the past. Now, obviously real life is not always so easy. You know, there are fires to put out at work and in your personal life. Sometimes your car breaks down. Sometimes the boss calls an emergency meeting or whatever. But the thing to remember is that these things aren't really surprises. They are expected. You, know, you expect life to be, you expect life to have uh, interruptions and you expect life to have distractions and it's never going to be 100% smooth. So part of, being, so part of being intentional with your time is expecting that to happen and being flexible. So adapt to whatever is happening, resolve it and get back to your plan. Yeah, move something to the next day if you have to, or move it off to the evening if you're feeling ambitious, but uh, do whatever works for you and get back on track. The point is to be intentional, not to be reactionary. Now, there are tons of videos out there on how to take back your time from you know, this modern world of, of interruptions and distractions and bells and whistles, but so I won't go over all the stuff that I've said in the past or all the stuff that I've seen in other videos, but I will share two things with you that have worked the best for me. And if you're at all interested in, in trying this stuff out and trying to reclaim your workday, these are probably the two most important ones. So the first one is to schedule your online uh, interaction time. Put it, put it on your calendar on purpose. See, I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm saying you have to control it. So mark out 20 minute blocks here and there to sweep through your email, your Facebook wall, your Instagram feed, your Discord channels, YouTube comments, you know, whatever it is that you involve yourself with socially needs to be blocked out like any other task. 
You have 20 minutes to complete it. If you don't get it done, it rolls over into the next 20 minute block whenever you have that scheduled two, three hours from now. The important thing is to not let the act of opening up your web browser steal two hours of your workday. You would be surprised how often that happens. And once you start paying attention and you catch yourself doing it, you'll be shocked at how easily it happens. Now, I personally went a little nuclear uh, at the beginning of the year and, and dropped most of my social media. But you need to do whatever works best for you. Yeah. Nobody's situation is the same as yours or mine. So we all need to customize and personalize uh, advice videos like this. Yeah, there's no way to blanketly say something that will work for everyone, but the best you can do is offer up suggestions and let people tweak and tune from there. Now, the second thing I recommend, which has really worked out well for me, uh, is to turn off uh, all notifications. Now, now, I know that sounds crazy, okay? uh, but it will be impossible to get into a flow state and remain focused if there's always a looming chance that a new email thing will pop up or Messenger will ping you or Slack mentions will I'll, I'll pop up on your desktop or whatever's going to happen. You know, there's a hundred different ways that you could be pinged for your attention. And really, I mean, what's so important that I need to know about it right now? Very few things, to be honest. So disable your new email pop-ups, your Facebook Messenger notifications. Anything that will want to grab your attention is a zone killer and a productivity slayer. Turn them off. That's my advice. You, know, you can deal with all of that stuff when your 20 minute pre-allocated window comes up. You'll be amazed after you do this for a while you know, and realize how few of those things were really all that important. Most of them, you know, if not all of them, can easily wait two or three hours to be dealt with or even until tomorrow. You know, we are all unique in how we work and how we get things done, but there's one thing we all share, you know, and that's the same 24 hour clock. So make the most of yours. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you in the next video or talk to you in the next video, which might be on a Sunday or might not be. You never know. Thanks again.